about this and going just to... You know, it's fun to be back out there in spring. And for me personally, you know, obviously I've coached quarterbacks a long time and I enjoy that part of the game. It's a challenge. You guys have a lot to manage each play. You know, they have to have a good plan and be able to process their plan based on down and distance situational football, what the defense is doing. So, uh, you know, it's a good challenge and, and uh, I'm having a fun, I'm having a good time with those guys out there. What are you looking for as far as separation is concerned between these guys from one to? You no, know, you always look for consistency, right? You know, the guy that, that does the best job of taking care of the ball and making plays. It's when you look at any game, at the end of the game, the team that turned the ball over uh, the fewest amount of times and the team that had the most explosive plays typically wins, regardless of every other stat that happens in a game, right? And so you're looking for a guy that does a great job of taking care of the ball and, and taking advantage of the opportunities the defense gives us when, when they're there. Brennan's the new guy, just from a coach's standpoint, what's stood out about him in early well, spring here? You know, he's smart, he's got a lot of experience, so he understands, um, you know, for a quarterback, there, to me, there's three steps in, in learning how to play. And the first, you have to master the first two to, to play. The third one is always a work in progress, but the first one is know the system, second one is understand situational football, third one is apply the defensive uh, uh, plan and to help you, right? Mm -hmm. and, and he has played so long now, defensive football is making sense to him. If that makes sense. He's able to get into the third area of that and, and have really good pre-snap plans. MJ, MJ wasn't at spring last year. Just how has he progressed? Uh, obviously, you know, he got to play last year. Yeah. How has he progressed? That always helps. Anytime you get game reps, um, it's important, right? Like we, we practice a lot of football and practice is really important and you, and you make a lot of decisions, but it's not like being under the lights. It's not like when the scoreboard comes on and you're responsible for winning a game. And so we have that, um, you know, we have real game reps for MJ and Ben yeah. seeing what they're doing. And so it helps in the evaluation process for sure. Coach, a couple weeks ago, Ben Finley mentioned last year, you were kind of like the, he called you the grandfather of football IQ on uh -huh. the team last year. What kind of role did you play in giving the quarterbacks kind of advice on, he said like game management and stuff like that last year? You know, for the most part, uh, you know, they had a coach in Tim and, and Coach Proctor coached them. And it was my job to, to get the running backs ready to play. And if they ever had, you know, a question uh, on the sideline when Tim was in the box, then and I was glad to help them. But, I, but this game is really tough mentally. It's, it's a challenge and, and um, it, it has a way of breaking you down if you let it. So to me, where you, one of the first places you start with a quarterback is you have to support the decisions they make if they do a good job of taking care of the ball. And you have to build the confidence to play this game because it's, you know, I always go back to this example. You know, I, I, Peyton Manning is, in my opinion, the best to ever play the game, right? And, and Eli Manning is right there with him, one of the best to ever play the game to me. But Peyton was playing in the Super Bowl against the Saints, and if you remember, he throws an interception at the end of the game, and uh, the Saints go up two scores and basically yeah. in the game. Well, he's got to go in and answer questions after that game about how he didn't get it done without it changing how he feels about himself. And that's, to me, that's part of a quarterback IQ is we okay. have to build the confidence level in these guys so, so they keep playing at a high level. Cool. Have your recruiting responsibilities changed too? You know, I, we still uh, do areas and position, right? So it starts with areas. And, and I have um, really the eastern part of North Carolina, southeastern part of North Carolina, Jacksonville, Wilmington, that area. And, and then position, obviously, I, I recruit the quarterbacks now, not the running backs. Well, what is that like for you to do that again? You know, I enjoy it. You know, I, I've done it so long. I guess the, you know, I guess the thing that I think about and, and um, it's, it's not my first time. Well, this is like 18 years of it, you know what I mean? So, so there's a lot of experience it, and I enjoy it. I enjoy the process of going out and watching quarterbacks throw, getting to know them, who they are, uh, what makes them tick, you know, just all the things that I think are important when you recruit a quarterback. What would you do you look for? Well, first thing, obviously, they, you know, they got to look like a college quarterback, right? When they walk in the room, you go, okay, this guy, this really good looking guy. They got to really have a fast arm. They got to be athletic. They got to be accurate. And then they've got to understand their offense and be able to communicate to you their offense. Um, 
you know, I want a, an accountable, trustworthy, competitive guy, right? That's what I'm looking for. And, and usually guys that, that are talented in high school, they win games in high school. Coach and I have been described as a creative kind of offensive mind. Just how would you characterize, you know, his way of doing things in his system? You know, it's, it's obviously the system is different, and that's what we're all challenged with, learning the system. For the most part, you watch football, you know, plays or plays or plays, and, and it's how you communicate them and maybe the little um, – variances in them right but but uh right now that's what our our first step is to learn the system right us as coaches mm -hmm. uh, there's always things you learn on the field as a coach that okay maybe i didn't coach this well enough or i've got to change how i'm coaching that and, and i think we're all in that process right now you ready for the players